Tennessee. 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 You may have heard about Assistant Police Chief Sean Taylor that media has labeled Millersville, Tennessee's conspiracy cop. He has had his fair share of time in the spotlight with local and widespread media attention. But have you ever wondered about the real story behind Sean Taylor? What makes Sean Taylor so controversial? While we all know and love Tennessee for its rolling hills, country music, and iconic Memphis barbecue and Nashville hot chicken, Tennessee is no stranger to controversy and corruption. As seen in Operation Rocky Top in the late 1980s and Operation Tennessee Waltz in 2008, corruption is widespread in Tennessee's politics and processes. Tennessee is challenged again today with top-level government corruption. Fraud, money laundering, human trafficking, and dirty officials plague our government all the way down to our small towns, including Millersville, Tennessee. is not helpful at all, especially when you're dealing with children. The White House is making it clear. Tennessee is a state that is right near in the middle of the country and some kids have to travel through, through there to get through their destination. Enter Assistant Chief Sean Taylor. For nearly 20 years, he has investigated, questioned, and fought corruption, both on official police task forces and as a private citizen. Sean's impressive body of work included investigating money laundering through Act Blue Political Fund. As concerns of corruption began to rise in Millersville and gain media attention, the police chief hired Sean Taylor as assistant chief of police. In Taylor's time as Millersville police chief, he found shocking corruption. Throughout his investigations, Sean discovered extensive corruption, money laundering, and fraud. We're not out of order. We're not out of order. You can't tell us what to do. Tennessee. 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 Through his work, Sean discovered large-scale fraud that saw Millersville's elected officials gaming the system for their own gain. Tennessee's population has grown exponentially in recent years, and the town of Millersville is no exception. Many local officials have taken advantage of Millersville's attractiveness to corporate investment, making deals to benefit these entities and line their own pockets to the detriment of Millersville residents. Sean presented his shocking findings and evidence to state officials and authorities, urging for the appointment of a special prosecutor. However, Sean's findings were met with apathy and inaction from the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation and Attorney General. Sean was told there was no state funding available for him to launch a special investigation. As Sean and his team continued to uncover corruption in Millersville, it became clear that the state would not allow them to carry out a formal investigation. A year after Sean presented his evidence to the Attorney General, he decided that he and his team must go public with their evidence on their own. It was when Sean announced he was going public that the attacks began. When Sean notified officials that he would be releasing his findings, they requested he slightly delay his scheduled press conference. During this period, the TBI raided Sean's office and home, destroying property and even leaving urine in his bathtub clear intimidation attempt. Local media picked up the story and launched an outright smear campaign on Sean, labeling him an unhinged conspiracy theorist. As Sean has fought to bring his findings and the corruption in Millersville to light, he has endured continuous attacks and slander from local media and Millersville city officials. Okay, all I can say is go for it. Gregory's request for a special meeting follows a new Channel 5 investigation that revealed Taylor's bizarre conspiracy theories, where he imagines connections between a whole range of public officials and all sorts of heinous crimes. What are the possible reasons that legacy media would have for dehumanizing, vilifying, and ridiculing an honest police officer, dismissing all of it to conspiracy? While we, these are not conspiracies, they are proven facts. The city of Millersville and the state of Tennessee is willing to destroy the life of a truth seeker like Sean Taylor to keep their dirty secret. It 
begins and ends with the Tennessee Volunteer. To stand up for what you believe in and fight for what's right. That is a volunteer. Assistant Chief Sean Taylor has dedicated his career and life to the pursuit of truth and justice. He is a true volunteer. Now, when the state of Tennessee has turned against Assistant Chief Sean Taylor, fellow volunteers must stand up to defend him and the values he stands for. We must all volunteer to ensure the truth is heard in Tennessee.